The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, we're in November, right? Usually when you turn the page into November, the tropics become quieter and quieter, right? <laughs> Not this year. We've got Tropical Storm Raphael out there. Raphael with winds of 45 miles per hour. It is expected to strengthen. It is likely to nip the west coast of Jamaica and then go over the west coast of Cuba and then emerge into the Gulf of Mexico where it will likely actually weaken before it makes landfall, potentially as a tropical storm close to Louisiana here as we go into uh, the early part of the weekend. What's going to then happen is this thing is going to be absorbed by a front and pushed back to the north and to the east in our direction. And right now it certainly looks like we'll have the chance for some tropical moisture, tropical rain as we head into Saturday and also as we head into Sunday. So yes, this thing will likely become a hurricane here relatively soon, but before it makes landfall in the United States, it will likely weaken back into a tropical storm. Locally here, things are very quiet here at 719. I think tonight we're going to stay dry all night long, even though we're going to have some clouds around. Futurecast shows that those clouds are actually only going to get thicker and thicker as the night progresses, which also means you could have quite a bit of fog tomorrow morning as well. I want to show you Futurecast at 7 a.m. and we may have a stray shower or two in the New River Valley. I think as we go through time, we'll have a few more showers developing as we go into the uh, latter part of the afternoon, Tuesday into Tuesday evening. You need to know I'm thinking that the zone that will probably see the most amount of showers tomorrow still isolated in nature would be the New River Valley. If you're watching us in Lynchburg or the Highlands, honestly, I don't think you see much moisture at all. I think this is mainly the further south you go, especially the further south and west you go towards the NRV and also towards the Mountain Empire. Then as we head into tomorrow night, a couple more showers will linger before they end. Wednesday will be a day where we're mostly cloudy. I think most of Wednesday is pretty dry until late. Then Wednesday night into Thursday, we'll have a better chance for at least some spotty showers. Temperature staff for us right now, 50s for the most part everywhere. 56 Rocky Mount, 56 in Bedford, also in Lexington and Covington, Blacksburg too. 55 in Withville, 52 Danville, also into Alta Vista. As we go zone by zone for Tuesday, highs in the Roanoke Valley 69 NRV 65 the Lynchburg zone 71 south side 73 that puts us about 5 to 10 degrees above average tomorrow on election day the temperature trend here through midweek shows that the eastern seaboard and points west towards the Mississippi River Valley going to be very very warm to find the cold air you have to go way west towards the Rocky Mountain states that's where we're going to have below average temperatures what's west eventually works its way east but it's going to take some time for that cooler air to get here so much of this week Temperatures are going to be warm and well above average. Your forecast for tonight, patchy fog is possible. Otherwise, we're going to be mostly cloudy and milder. 50 is your low for the most part. Uh, for tomorrow, looking at highs in the 60s and lower 70s. Mainly cloudy tomorrow, but it is going to be a warmer day for us. And there's that 20 to 30% chance for a few showers. As we go into Wednesday and Thursday, highs will hit the middle 70s, and then we're falling into the 60s on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I got about a 20 to 30 percent chance for uh, some isolated showers here Tuesday, Election Day through Friday. But that chance ring does go up this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. The forecast could change, but right now, so long as we have that tropical moisture headed our way, uh, right now the weekend looks damp from time to time.